Oh boy. We back. Also, I need to turn it. I need to turn it up real quick. Give me a moment. There you go. <sighs> Very cool. Games by videos. Games in videos. Games that may or may not be videos themselves. Oh yeah. I've become a knight. We're still down here in the mines. We have plenty of pickaxes. To swing side to side. What the? I've been in here. Something just made a sound. Oh, hey, it was a spooky ghost toolin. Surely there's nothing terrible awaiting me at the end of this cavern. What's that noise? Is that a bubble frog? <gasps> oh my god, it's a bubble frog. Yeah! Give me that. One of these days, I'll get to where that... That stable is. It's supposed to be an Elden, I believe. <clears throat> Wood woodland stable or whatever. Hmm. How am I going to get up there? How indeed. Hold this. Hold this. I just stepped on a Lego. Nice. Congratulations. Ah, beautiful. Now. This is a fantastic idea. Ah, oh, it only- <laughs> I was expecting it to explode. Ah! <laughs> Why can't I ascend? I'm in crippling pain. Nice. I am sorry to hear that. Eh. There we go. Sheesh. Really made me work for that, huh? I don't think it was even worth it. Nothing up here. Broy! What the heck? Broy! There ain't nothing here. What a waste of time. I'm leaving. Oh, maybe there's something up here, though. Climb the roots. Big Deku tree vibes, if I'm being honest. Also, I remembered that bombs exist and are very, very nice. Oh, baby, that's a lot of flint. Give me these. I'll need them eventually. Eventually! Ah. The good old Amanda Bynes show. Oh. Howdy. I watched that show a lot when I was a little. A wee Alan. I may be in crippling pain, but now, but now what? Yeah. 
Yeah. Where am I? Deep beneath this land, our mighty first ruler imprisoned the demon king. I'm in crippling debt, but why did you, why would you do such a thing? Eh. <laughs> I appreciate that one, though, quite a bit. Thank you. For the teal? Teal? I don't know. The teal super chat. Hopefully the crippling pain fades. I have stepped on a Lego. It is, uh, very fun. <laughs> to ensure the king's magic would hold, we erected a castle here to protect this sacred site. Without the castle in place, the site may be disturbed, allowing the demon king's hatred and rage to be revived. The preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the prosperity of the kingdom. May it watch over an eternal peace. Well, surely the fact that it's now flying about 30 meters in the sky is not going to endanger anybody, and it's not becoming a problem that we're not currently dealing with. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Excuse me, that's hardly fair. <laughs> uh, I will now proceed to heal myself with this fish. All right. Ow, my God! <laughs> Where's my shrooms? Oof. All right. Listen here, Donkey Kong. Ha! How fast can she eat? As fast as I can cook. Let me cook. She can eat a few thousand f whole fish in midair. Just open mouth and inhale. Like I do when I eat. I'm like Kirby. <gasps> Suck down a whole plate of spaghetti. Hopefully I'm not about to walk into a... Oh. Like a super dungeon, hopefully. Okay, I'll see what's in here before I keep going up. Ah, shit. <laughs> Have fun with your friends. Oh, God. Depending on shields, pretty good. Mainly for transport, if I'm being honest. Not the bats! Ice bat, no! Hello, random user. How are you today? About to shoot this guy with an amber arrow. Get on! Yeah! Fine, that's good to hear. Really? You put a soldier's spear in a chest? Omega lol, bro. Hmm. Give me your arrows. Haha, <laughs> two of them. Nice. Where's this go? Yeah, screw ladders. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy! The secret shroom stash. What the? Ah! What is this? I kind of want to keep keep going up the stairs before I investigate that. I feel like the gloom is getting more and more intense as I go. Because now there's these little purple things coming up out of the ground too. Surely this, we're not in a health hazard zone. Oh God, you're not tooling. Sheesh. Ah! Scared the bejeebus out of me. I hear a lizard. Hmm. This area is not OSHA compliant. Someone really needs to bring that up with high rule. Is there Wi-Fi in the kingdom? If not, I'll install a Wi-Fi. Maybe that's why the kingdom is crying. They have no internet access. Get muddled, nerd. I'm okay. Run! That guy has a whole ass sword for a horn. I'm not here. Fight. Let them fight. Oh my God. And the goblin's going in for another swing. And he got yeeted! Uh-oh! Muddle butt is worn off! Whatever shall we do? Yeah! Fight! Ooh, a big hearty truffle. Years of going unpicked have allowed this hearty truffle to go quite large. Nice. I need to get out of here! Consume the mushrooms! They are crying because they can't see a woman destroying their kingdom with a sword. Me? Yeah. That is a whole ass katana. A very long sword-like horn. And a black bacoblin horn. Yep. Am I destroying the kingdom? I hope I'm not destroying the kingdom. Oh. I'm just trying to go for a hike, man. All these freaky pig lizards trying to steal my mushrooms. The tunnel keeps going. Ooh, free diamond. All right, what is this? <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, we'll get out of here. What are you doing? So this is the inside of Hyrule Castle. It's practically a maze. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, Link, right? Sorry about that. Didn't see you there. You seem... Very unperturbed. Also, you have cat lips. I'm Nobiro. Still a bunch of valuable treasure and weapons inside the castle, so they asked me to guard the place from thieves. Hey, that's me. Aww. But I'm a little lost. Ah. Now, oh, but don't you worry about me. Go right ahead. I mean, you are from the castle after all, so... Yeah. <clears throat> don't mind me. I'm going to be stealing everything. Good. 
Also, there's an escape tunnel right there. <laughs> so, yeah. Regret? I came to the wrong fucking neighborhood. Oh my god, two of them! Nobiro, we have a problem. Mushroom! Flower. Nobiro, no! Ouch! Fuck, ow, that hurt. Ah, uh, ee, ow, ooh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> But he let those beasts in. He did nothing to stop them. He's doing nothing to stop them. Oh my god, it's on the ceiling. Nabiro! Sure are helping, buddy! That was close. Yeah, thanks. Shoot him down, Tulin! Get him! Oh my god! They're climbing on the walls! Ah! Why aren't they seeing him? Obviously, Nibiru's a ghost! No! My Stalnax Pulverizer! Yeah! Whew! We're safe now. Hey, hello, Dark Shadows 06. How are you today? Welcome to Hyrule Castle. Nope. Guess what? What? Oh, you. The goo. Good, that's good to hear. Eh! How are you? I am also very good. Nice. Guess what? Monkey butt. Chicken. <gasps> oh my god. Don't make me hungry. I believe this was the other entrance. Cheese, mmm. The leaning tower of cheese. Welcome to emotes. Oh my god. Congrats on the on the five the five emotes, Dark Shadows. I hope you like them and I appreciate that. Spaghetti. Be honest, I had cheese spaghetti for lunch. Cheese spaghettios. It was very good. But the cheese was mediocre because it was just American cheese on spaghettios. It kind of. kind of a let. What the hell? What are you doing in there? He's dancing. I told you. I appreciate it. I really do. Wait, that's not a thing we burn. That's just a guy. He's just hiding there. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get some new emotes. What did I just do? I know, but I, <laughs> I rocked that guy's whole world. But there's a chance we can get new emotes. Or update the old ones soon. Something I'm considering asking for. <laughs> the goo. Royal Guard uniform. A dignified uniform for Hyrule's Royal Guard. Made of lightweight materials and is stylish and practical. Recently reproduced and made available. Yeah, that is kind of sick. Oh my god. Fashion of the kingdom, am I right? Oh, 
Oh, hello. What you doing in there? <clears throat> yeah. So anything that watching your Tears of the Kingdom streams are giving me internet issues? Oh. But they're like super low quality. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not ruining your your internet. I love the glider. It's I like the blue color. Although I am interested to see what the other fabrics look like. Low quality but fun. Yeah. And the high quality it comes eventually. Most likely a coincidence, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not ruining your internet. I apologize if it is me. I need to go back up here though. You wanna know why? Because I spoiled myself. And I missed something up here. That cave was a whole ass dungeon, by the way. That thing was massive. <clears throat> like, I think it took as much time from. Whoa, my God. It took as much time for me to get through that as it did for me to beat the entire Wind Temple. Game logic be like 99, 999 pound hammers in the offhand 10k pound. Pound main hammer in your main hand. It's nothing. Add one piece of paper that weighs nothing. Death, you are now slow. You are now over encumbered. Now that's some Skyrim physics. Let me up here. Yes. <laughs> I got it. Hmm. Get out of the goo. I need to get to the main... To the main hall! Is this the main hall? Into the shadow realm. My deck has no weak gods, Kaiba! Alright. Now, I may have... I may have spoiled myself on this. But it's important. So I will be doing it now. Light it up! Light, light it, light it up. Hit the flint link! Thank you. Oh my god. You have a lot of items. I have a lot of monster items that I need to use, yeah. Oh, whoa. What is this? The champion leathers. This garment worn by those in good standing with Hyrule royalty has been reworked with the latest improvements, such as a new shoulder guard. Where are you storing these items? You just have like a portable S, uh, portable SCP-123? Well, let's witness where he pulls them from. Apparently, air. Anyway, 420 blaze it. Damn, bro. Is, is that a puff shroom? Oh. 
Minecraft logic. I put it all in my pants. He wears cargo pants and a fanny pack. Lincoln store everything. That puff shroom hit different. Yeah, it do. How are you, some idiot? Dang. <laughs> How are you today? I want to get on top of the castle. Now that we have Link's cannon outfit. You know the movie Green Mask. I know the movie The Mask. Does that count? Should have worked out barely walking. Oof. Sounds like it was a good one then. Fine. I'll cheat. I'm gonna let me climb. Nine billion pound shulker. Rip my back pocket and totally not rip my back pocket, yeah. Surely. Surely I can put five thousand cabbages in my in my in my in my pants. On account of they all weigh a quarter pound. What is this? A royal bow. In the past, the king of Hyrule presented this bow to only his most talented archers in the land. Oh my god. Get out of here, wooden bow. It's all about that royal bow now. The infinity pains. It's just like cargo pants. Those things are spaces. Ooh, free money. What is up there? What is that dude? You grab it on to climb dust particles. Spider link. I got little grippers. I can hold on to everything. I like to think that Link just has super glue stuck to his hands, that he just doesn't know how to wash off because he doesn't know what water is. He's got gorilla glue on his uh, glue on his hands. No, oh, this is going to be a problem, I see. Spider Link. Spider Link. He only knows tears, not water. He also knows sweat. He is a very moist boy. Yeah. What? I did it. I don't know where I'm going, but I sure am going there. Ooh, another treasure chest. The Royal Guard Spear. Prototype spear wielded by knights made from a special metal metal with a low durability. Gorilla glue. I'll make fun of my pronunciation. And the sapphire. Don't make fun of me. I speak English. Can I grab you? Yes, I can. Ding. Ding. Wait a minute. <laughs> that was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was just doing it for goofs. They got the un unreleased double sided flex tape. Yeah. Link got them sticky fingers. Literally. Fuse bell. Oh, man. Wish I could. Wait, I saw it for one second. There it is. Let me up. What I would really like to do is fuse Korok. 
One of those backpack Koroks? Fuse it to an arrow and what the hell? Dusk bow. Bow that's been in the royal family for ages, said to have been used by princess who fought beasts of twilight. Oh my god. That sounds like super important. Love to bring around a portable wormhole every time I travel. You mean you don't take your wormhole? How embarrassing. So far, this journey has been worth it. But I wonder if there's even more awaiting us up top. Don't bring a wormhole, I bring a portal gun. Even better! <clears throat> I love port. <laughs> Link has intense fronts, <laughs> frontal foot strength. How high is this? Very high. Not as high as a sky castle. And not as high as Link got in. Oh, hey. There's a star piece over there. Not as high as Link got in the throne room, but still very. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's about what I figured. Not as high as Link got in the throne room, but still very high. Give me that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on top of the world! Yippee! Go get this shrine, shall we? Vincent Telly, no need to swim. But what if I want to swim through walls? Let's go! How much do you think a portal gun would cost? Doesn't it cost like a, like hundreds of millions of dollars or something like that? They talk about it in the game, don't they? And it costs an absurd amount of money. Ah, se papa. Se papa. Didn't it cost? It may have cost like a billion dollars. I don't remember. This weapon cost four hundred thousand dollars to fire for twelve seconds. Ah, uh, what a guy. I love you, Heavy. Can't fling yourself with a wormhole device. Well, where's the fun in not flinging yourself? Torch. Get back here. I can hit that. I can totally hit that. God, I need fire fruit. I'm almost out of fire arrows, bro! Tunk. Buy a long fall boot so you don't die from climbing mountains. Not really a strong construct bow. Nah. What's it called? Like the boots of spring heeled Jack? <clears throat> what I need is plus 1000 acrobatics. Then I'll never die. Eh. I didn't set this on fire, did I? Okay, that's good. Whew. 
That would have been embarrassing. You know what else is embarrassing? I didn't do anything. There. Need a slow falling potion, huh? A potion of slow fall. What if I have a scroll of a carry in flight? You saw nothing. Absolutely nothing happened there. I solved the puzzle. I see. Hmm. Truly a predicament. Who could ever guess what they need us to do here? Eh! Damn. I don't see anything I see. I see. I was hoping I could ascend my way through the doorways instead of having to actually do the puzzle. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da -da. You know what is icy? Link's fashion sense. This boy dresses cold. Get in the hole. Or something like that. Now all I can think of is like mint gum. Because of icy, and I'm just thinking of like super strong, like like cool mint gum. That's Mario, yeah. Everybody, come on, do the Mario! Mark a light route. Should we go visit the Woodland Stable before we... Before we head to Kakariko? I think we should. Because there's a bunch of stuff that the game wants us to do there. Metro Man! Hmm. Metro Man is way too far away from me. There's a part you can make a gun. Well, you see. I don't have a beam emitter. I can't make you a gun, but what I can do... Make a flamethrower. My mouth doesn't feel like the Antarctic when I drink cold water, I don't want it. True! I believe there's going to be a movie called Barbie. I mean, who else would ex watch that except children? Uh, well, well you, you nailed it right there, children. Also, there's a lot of Barbie movies, believe it or not. Like, a lot of them. A lot of them. Do I have a... I don't have a steering, do I? No. Like, my sister used to really be into Barbie, and we had several Barbie movies. Burn! 
Yes! Destroy my capture card and all of my FPS! Ah. Lovely. Come with me, portable flamethrower! The jet. Fire jet. Flame on! Oh, whoa, are these friends or foe? This is a. Anybody want roast jet? Get back here! Goward. Hey, is anybody home? No? Oh, wow. A fireproof tent! This is my house now. Oh! Hello. Almost got it. The treasure! I almost figured it out. Just a bit more brainstorming and... Hmm. How much do you need to finish this game? A lot. This is a long game. Is it big? Extremely. <laughs> to put it into perspective, it took me, like, doing basically nothing but main quest in Breath of the Wild. It took me probably 30, 40 hours? And this game is longer than that. And I'm also doing side content. Wasn't it like 20 hours? 20, 24 maybe? This is long. And that was just main quest. Well, and a little bit of a detour to get enough hearts to get the Master Sword. Let's figure it out. Just a bit more brainstorming and... Hmm. You got this, Dak! The treasure is as good as ours! Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec, Prison. Hey, you, we're having a private conversation here. Uh. Huh? Where are you? How long have you been there? Huh. We found that chest first. It's ours! Means that the bottomless bog is certain doom with no place to put your feet. You probably can't get to it anyway. But any hidden treasure that's maybe, certainly, definitely in there is ours! Prison, cut it out. Oh. Sorry, Deck. It just slipped out. Uh. Yeesh. I need to think about how to get that treasure. So do your job and keep watch. Got it? As you can see, we're working here, so buzz off. Mm, I see. The creators did a good job. Yeah, this has been fantastic so far. Hey, y'all need some heat? Oh my god, they're fire resistant. dude I'm just gonna make a long bridge screw you guys hey the Roru settlement ruins oh my god they named some place after him might actually be pertinent to explore this place spicy paper yeah Mmm, spicy paper. Nah, it's a spicy pepper. It's like a chili pepper. You can use them to cook food that makes you more resistant to cold temperature. Long, long bridge. 
noodles. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> You're mine. This looks fancy. This has got to be something good. It's three bomb flowers. It's in nudes. I want ramen. He took it. Almost got it almost. Maybe we can get the treasure chest if we... Huh? Hey, Prison, where'd the treasure go? Ah. The treasure? Oh, that guy took it. Weren't you keeping watch? Huh. I was keeping watch. Guy took it. I was watching him the whole time. <laughs> Hilarious. Also, I just re I just remembered. I should put on my U shift. Hmm. I can't tell if that changed. Add the L between the D and the S. Making me want ramen, user. Random user. Are you on console or PC? This is on console. I've got a switch. I have a capture card. See? Uh. You gotta tell me these things. Keeping watch just means you have to do more than just watch. Mm. Uh, well, can't get them all. No use crying about it. You know, you're pretty good. Almost as good as us hunting treasure. Ah. You know, you're a treasure hunter too? Are you also going after Miss Ghost treasure? Ah. Prison, hush! Will you ever do a face reveal? I've promised at one point that I'd do one at 10k. But I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't know, if, if I ever get to 10k subscribers, then then we'll figure it out. Uh, sorry, just ignore him. Misko's treasure? So much for just ignore him, Gambit. There's no way you're also a treasure hunter if you don't know about Misko's treasure, so we can uh, tell you a little. Can we bribe you for one? I have integrity. Misko is one of the greatest bandits we uh, Hyrule ever saw. And not just a bandit. They were also a faster Nista. Rumor has it Misko's renowned clothing collection is hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Oh. Then clothes are hidden in the caves that appear during the upheaval. Like up ahead in the Elden region. Couldn't really explore back when Death Mountain was erupting. Now everything's cooled down and the place is all rocky and rugged. Probably tons of secret caves perfect for hiding treasure. <laughs> Prison! What are you doing? <laughs> Oops. Definitely forget he said anything. I'm guessing that there is Misko's treasure in there. I need to do some signs with my video filter because it, it feels like it changed. Yeah. That feels a bit better. Let me do another. Hmm. I like this much better. <clears throat> Everything's a little bit more red. I like it. But no, nah, I have integrity. No, oh, I almost died. Oh my god. 
I definitely won't just do things for money. Probably. I guess it depends on how much. Close enough. Link? Woo! <laughs> yeah, give me these seeds, baby. This well reminds me of Lord of the Rings. How so? I feel like something just ran by my foot. There better not be a little friend in here. Well, like the bog of death or whatever? With all the all the zombies in the water? Knights Halbert Halbert. Yes. Oh, ow. Pippin accidentally moved a skeleton and it fell down a well. I haven't seen Lord of the Rings in a while. Did that ha when did that happen? I need this. Boop. No, really? Give me the peppers. One of these days, I'll actually head to Kakariko. <clears throat> and then lots of orcs woke up. Oh, in Moria. I know what you're... Ah! I know what you're talking about. The Raru Hillside Cave. Ew. I think it was the first movie. Yeah, it's the Mines of Moria. <laughs> Why are you shooting me? Yeah. Play smack a sec. Give me that. Really, rock salt in a treasure chest? <laughs> Yeah, that's the Mines of Moria. Ooh, two topaz and a sapphire? Sick. Eh. How am I getting across here? I guess we can just climb. <gasps> Bubble frog! Eat shit! Give me your little gem. Sorry, I didn't have any emeralds, villager. No paper for you. Oh god, it's the monkey squad. Get down! Holy shit, they're weak! I can't aim! Yeah! Yeah! 
Get down! <laughs> oh my god, the guy tanked getting smacked in the in the chest with a hammer. Said get down here! Didn't need that halberd halberd anyway. I got a halberd stick. I'll play Minecraft one of these days. Probably. Sticky lizard. Come on, your friend broke. Why won't you? Give me. Spider Link. What are you? There's a type of wood called cherry wood. Yeah, it's like the black red. A lizzle spear. Yeah, this actually looks kind of sick. Get out of here, rusty halberd stick. Ah, yeah. Now that's a spear. Yeah, cherry wood looks very cool. I want that. There we go. Look, I want the last seed, please. Out we go. You know, it was all this, and all I wanted to do was visit the shrine. Or the, the stable. All this for one stable. The Spear of Destruction. This is the weapon that'll bring Ganon down. Okay, now it's way too red. Put it at a nice five. There we go, that's better. Hey, lady! Why'd you move out here? Do you magic, magic lady? I knew what you were, monster. You've come for my blessing of clothing enhancement. But this land is now smothered in gloom and overrun with monsters. No, oh, I'll never hear a musical troop pass by again. The sweet noises of its violin player. Staying sealed up on my flower bed for the rest of eternity. Or until I hear a violin in the world once more. Yeah. I'm here to be close to a stable where I could offer my blessings to travelers. But now until I hear a violin played by a musician in a troop. I can't bear the thought of ever going outside ever again. This is a bad day for Link to not know how to talk. Look up this guy and wonder our place in the stars. Now we look down and worry about our place in the dirt. Profound. Oh my god, it's the Pikachu shrine. Enter Pikachu's hole. Let's go. Doesn't the herb heal you? Yeah. Rise and fall. Ah, I see we'll be doing some rewind. Oh yeah, it's rewind time. What is this? Stay here, Bucks. You're my box. 
Give me this. Please be something worth it. It's a Zodite shield. Get out of here. Oops. Yeah, Zonite or uh, herbs do heal. Get out of here. Back up again. Hit it. There you go. Sick. What does this do? Can I rewind you? Ah, I see. Hold. <clears throat> Drop it. Try that again. <laughs> Hold. Set it down. Now. Let's go. Easy. Give me more difficult shrines, Raru. Try my big heroic brain even harder. Wish I had a goat brain. Wish I had a goat. Wish I was a goat. Easy peasy. Easy clap, baby. Oh yeah, BTTV works on YouTube now. If you download that extension and it gives you a bunch of emotes, I have a list of emotes that I've put on the channel. I went up there. Give me this. Are there any secret places in this game? So many secrets. Buffering, oof. Like the caves are all secret areas. The, the wells are all secret areas. Like this is a huge map. And it's got three levels. There's a lot of secret material in this game. All right, so this is where I was told one, there's a musical troupe. And two, this is where you take the bubble, the bubble gems. Both of which I'm interested to see what's up. Also this well. Whale, whale, whale. La la la, da 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 da. What's this? What's this? There ain't nothing in here. This is like a hot, hot spring. <laughs> Give me a rock. 
Yeet. Yeet, I said. Yeah. Huh. Um. There's something in here that I'm missing. Because the well in, on the map is still unmarked. It's still marked as incomplete. So I'm missing something here. Hmm. Blood Moon. Let's go investigate. Yeah. Hello, goats. Where is it? I don't see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I don't see no moon. That's no moon. Spooky. When the glow of the blood blood stained moon shines, shines upon the land, the aimless spirits, spirits of slain slain monsters return, return to flesh. The, the world is threatened once, once again. again. Thanks, demons. Anyway, back to the cheerful music. The stolen trap woodland stable route. What the hell? With a red hot foothill stable route. Red hot? Ugh. It's finally nodding off. What is it? You want to know what it means to be red hot? It's a while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full force non stop red hot lava. I and mean, now the lava's all cooled down and hardened into a new road that's super easily walkable. Mm. There's nothing red hot about easily walkable. Now, on the other hand, the route going up to Death Mountain from Foothill Stable. It's an old dangerous road to absolutely crawl in for, with monsters. If you're looking for red hot, that's where to find it. Thing is, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat. So that makes my decision more complicated. Look, take sleep to burn so bright. So let me recharge for a bit. All right, Molo. Bloopy. Is that a bloopy? It isn't moving. Are you real? It's real. Die! Easy money, baby. Also, oh, it's Kilton. I know this guy. What up, dingus? I hope he's okay. You there, traveler. Do you have any business in this cave by any chance? Sorry to say, but right now it's... What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Colton. It's no use. Colton. Please, it's impossible. Absurd even to try and turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. Should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like that. I will never give up, Kilton! I've always wanted to be a Satori! I will be a Satori! I do not care what it takes! All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble, Jim! Then I'm sure to turn into a Satori! And the rumors are true! There is a creature in the cave called a Bubble Frog! And it glows just like a Satori! Oh, I didn't think it would be run up so high or on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. 
Nimbly bimbly. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes! Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that and trade! You need bubble gems, I hear. Traveler? Did you hear me and my big brother talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Ah, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is your dream? <laughs> you want to hear about my dream? Ah. Well, it's simple. Really? I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog. A strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bubble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in that cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble about like that? So nimbly bimbly. I want to be a Satori! I will be a Satori! I'll do whatever it takes. But I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So if you get ahead of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear. Here you go. <laughs> That's a bubble gem! Mm. Colton, is it the real thing? Mm. The perfect shape and the faint blue glow. <laughs> it's a real bubble gem, real as can be. <laughs> you did it! Now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. The Goblin Mask. Kilton's handmade bacoblin headgear. Almost cute in a ch charming and a cute monstrous kind of way. Use it to blend in with bacoblins. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a bacoblin, so much that even a bacoblin would take you for one. <laughs> By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and heart of a bacoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gym. Cheers and bottoms up. That has to physically hurt. <laughs> My body, it isn't changing. But, but I do feel strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. And I'm on my way to becoming a Satori. And that means... More! I need more of them! And I can't just gobble them up one at a time, no. That'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that... Kilton, big brother! I've decided to collect... To set out on a journey to collect bubble gems! I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you. Thank you. Traveler, I am grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. I've got like 30 of them or something. You want some right now? No? I, I, I guess he's leaving. Hmm. Oh. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true.
Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown and Akala. Hmm. But dear Traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that, during your travels, you'll find time to assist him further. Hmm. I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts. So visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. All right, bye, Kilton. Anyway, I'm going to go investigate the cave myself. Also put the... What the? I don't need this. Investigate the cave myself. What a nimbly bimbly bubble frog. Linky, save me, please. Nah, who needs to find Zelda? Hunting frogs is much more important. If I can hit him! Here we go. This is my true calling. Where'd my other arrow? There it is. I guess it was just that one bubble frog. Okay. Bye bye. I wish I could be a bubble frog. I'd be the bubbliest frog you'd ever know. When I can't hit a six foot frog, I'm screwed. I am very skilled. Oh my god, that moon is fucking schmoovin' over there. I don't know what- I don't want to know what the tides look like. Anyway, I was told that there is a traveling music troupe that came here. <clears throat> also a mushroom lady. Mm-hmm, Kenny, you're back? was waiting and waiting and just shut my eyes for a moment. Oh, I'm sorry. You're definitely not my boyfriend. Aww. My boyfriend went off to buy some of the fire-resistant clothes available in Goron City, but he hasn't come back. I went part of the way with him, but some Gorons with strange-looking rocks started bothering us. Why are you looking at the Gorons' rocks? I'm back. Welcome back, random user. You miss Kilton and Colton. I got scared and came back on my own. If you're going to go around the city, then you should be very careful. Yo, the real Zelda is here. True. We've been visited by royalty. Didn't think I'd see you here. I hate to disappoint such a big Beatle fan, but I'm not giving autographs today. Well then, can I tempt you to buy? <laughs> what you buying? What you selling? Give me your arrows. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Yay! Oh, wait, he's got a hardy lizard, too. Sick. All right, bye, beetle. Oh. I should talk to you. You're a night owl, I see. Your name's Kish. Oh. Welcome. You found your way to Woodland Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, I'll add one point to your pony points. Yes! Oh! Oh! Looks like you got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep my ledger, then call me over. Oh. Oh. We got landing is recruiting. I knew it's got some nothing to do with me, but that's a scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. Have you invested in better better food? Nope. Ah. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. I'm still foodless. I'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. For seven points, you've unlocked the Melania bed. If you sleep in a Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Melania, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. It's a very popular choice among our customers. You can save up just three more points. Oh. Oh, you'll be able to register one additional horse. Sick. Get over here. Oh. Yes. 
I want to sleep in the in the the Melania bed. I want to be woken up in the morning. I am Melania, the god of horses, who grants quicker hooves and thicker hides. In the northeast I rule, near a stable in Nakala, I am waiting. Okay. Thanks, God. Five AM. Oh. Did you hear a message? This is thanks for lodging us, we give you one point. Sick. Oh. Look how landing is recruiting investigators. Interesting. Anyway, I should probably cook. <laughs> Hold up, let me cook. Where's sort? There's sort. Up so high in the sky. Oh, is this your first time here, mister? Welcome, this is the Woodland Stable. Oh my god, your head is huge. Hey, I gotta know. Are you looking at stuff that fell from the sky too? I've been in the sky. I fell from the sky. You don't know? Look up there. There's an island floating in the sky. See it too, right? Yeah. Sometimes when I'm looking at that sky, a big box falls down from that island. Ah, there, look, look. Ooh, me good. That means the sky person's gotta be dropping them. I always knew there was a kingdom in the sky. And I've always dreamed of going up there to play with all the sky animals. Aww. I'm still little, so I'm not allowed to go too far away. Wanna hurry and be all grown up like you, mister? Then I can go up there. This child is criminally insane. Ah. <sighs> True, also, what is that? Oh my god, it's an actual box! They're wanted in seven states. Wanted in every province, from every corner of Hyrule. Not even the Demon King can, go, can deal with their power. Swimming. Just keep swimming. Push the box. Yeah! Move it, box! Move it faster! <laughs> box of the box. I'm gonna kick his ass! Uh. No, I'm going to drown! Come here, fish. Eh. Eh. Huh. I didn't accomplish anything. I want it. Come here! Come on, man. Uh. Go. 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 Go! Push. Box. Go! Move it, box! Uh, 
Link, use your teeth! Open it! Disengage! Come here, you fish. Oh no, oh no, 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 I'm not going to drown here! Still all the way over there. I don't think it's any closer. I will acquire this, this box. Did it reset? Complete sensation of devastation just overwhelmed my entire body. It went back. Someone just meow at me. Oh, hey, it's the troop. Oh my God. Who is this fantastic individual? Time to engage in some good old Hylian fishing. Yeah, 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 ba ba ba. Your time is now, Box! Surrender! Surrender! You've been hurt. Fool! Yeah! Ba -da -da -ba. Give me this. For an amber. For an amber. <sighs> Need the arrow. Disappointed! I wish he was a cat. The wonder. I wonder, is it her? Hey, Finn. All right. Mind going through it one more time? Just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened the night when the great fairy hurt herself away? Well, we had our accident up here one awful night, sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front with us. In front of us. A horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy, the one that involved the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke. And now we can't even transport our instruments to performances! Or us! At least no one was hurt. Her name is Violin. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She, she seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy! She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever reasons the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. 
And the one who caused all of this was a blonde-haired woman, you say? Hmm. Could that have been... Ah. Oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we have got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. Hmm. My reporter instincts are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Ah. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true. So we've got to talk to the great fairy first. What's a great fairy? Ah, asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'll make a decent reporter yet? Oh. I've been there. Look way up on those hills. See that big plant in the distance? The one that's sprouting that that pretty stuff? That right there is a flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe, and that's why she moved near the stable recently. A great fairy who loves this troupe's music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh? We mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. The Great Fairy is overrated. She's more of the okay fairy. Pretty good, but not that great fairy. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only we had a way to reach her. The breezer is broken down. Not to mention, and we don't go anywhere, anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone too. We're stuck here. Alright, so... <laughs> Number one. Attach. Wheels. Eh. There you go. Meow, meow. meow, meow. I hope they're all right. Who are you? <laughs> oh, do my eyes deceive me? Or do you plan on setting out? Piggy, you're also headed to Goron City. Mm. This may be an odd warning, but do try to watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Strange rocks? <sighs> the Grape Fairy is where it's at. Now you're thinking. The Gorons are typically so gentle and hardworking. But lately, it seems the young ones have stopped working altogether, and some are even playing tricks on travelers. I met one injured traveler who told me that the Gorons in question all carried strange rocks. So if you also plan to go to the city, watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Also, there's a restaurant up this mountain to path towards the city. A restaurant? They pointed a traveler in that direction quite some time ago, but there's been no sign of them coming back. It's not hard to- it's hard not to imagine they've gotten into some sort of trouble. I don't really know what this all means, but it's the duty of a stable to keep its guests safe, so I can't help but worry. There's a restaurant? I want food. So we need to go catch a horse. Catch a ride! <laughs> Over some great info on Misko's treasure. And it looks like you overheard me. Perfect! This is so juicy, I've got to share. You've heard of Misko's treasure, the famous bandit's huge clothing collection? Story goes to Misko's hidden caves. Yep, it just gives my Hi. fashion loving hat. The fashion loving hat. Which would also be very exciting if they weren't bursting with lava. If I walked into one dress like this, my clothes would be burned to a crisp. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me where more of them were. We need to acquire a new horse. Hmm. Ah Come here! Ah now listen here, you little shit. Yep. 
Dude. Ah! Choo choo, run! Horse, run! Be naming this one Titan. This one is going to the to the to the troop. This one is not for us. Ho ho. Ha. Ho ho. Oh. Ho ho. Ho. Wait. I bet I have to tie him to the cart, don't I? All right, so we are naming you. Oh. Out of steed, yes. Oh. So be in good hands. Register this horse. 20 rupees, yes. Oh. At one point, sick. Enter a name. Your name will be... Roxanne. Roxanne E. Yes. Day course. Oh. Mm. Lose registration. Change certain things. Can't restyle the main. Give it towing harness. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hans. Hans? Huh. All right, Roxanne. <laughs> I am selling you to this musical troupe. Hope you don't mind. Uh, one moment. <laughs> There. Ah! Witch magic! I did it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are you thinking, partner? Members of the troop mentioned a woman with blonde hair. I think it might be Princess Zelda. Yeah. Check in with the Great Fairy to find out what she saw, but if she won't show herself, hmm, maybe we can get her to bring to come out if we bring the musicians to her somehow. The wagon is busted, though. I'll take you. Ah. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. Violin! He's made some sort of change to Brisa. We may be able to be on our way now. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. Is he blind? He has goggles. Turns out they're not tinted. They're actually just straight up black. No, he cannot see. I guess we're keeping Roxanne. I thought we were going to sell them the horse. Come along, folks. Hey. Be nice. If I'd known this, I was I would have gotten. I would have brought Mega Mind. Maybe they'll ask for the horse after we're done. Who knows? Be nice. <laughs> Roxanne! This looks very relaxing. Playing R Red Dead Redemption 2. Ah. ah, thank you. We can take it from here. All right, Mastro, lead us into the performance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop must play with all the hearts we can for the great fairy. Yeah. That's his new voice. Stretch. Oh, my. 
my god. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, Tara. <laughs> Yahoo! Wah! -ha! Yeah, yeah. Behold, Violin! The Great Fairy graces us with her presence. Ah. The Great Fairy! She's like, she looks more like a white grape. Like little white grape wine. That's what she is. Truly divine. Aye! Aye! Well, look at this. You really helped out here, partner. I flew as fast as I could when I saw the butt opening up. So this is a great fairy. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Ah, oh, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that the, an awful gloom was spreading over the land and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. Mm. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So, she looked like Princess Zelda, but it wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. Gotta take the wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you've been working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. 50 rupees. Oh, that's right. Tracy has had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. Hey, an extra 20 rupees. Sick. Okay, I'm going to take this story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. Bye. So long. I missed one of the stories. There was the golden horse that was Zelda's horse, and then there was the, um, the Zel Princess Zelda gave a guy a recipe for goat feed, and he messed it up, and all of his goats ran away. My Mastro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troop because they didn't like how I played, the vi played my violin. <laughs> violin? That wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy yourself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other great fairies are also hiding away in their buds. Uh. I bet if you, I mean we, play music for them, that'd cheer them up too. Yeah, yeah. A brilliant idea. And you know what this calls for? Reuniting our troop. The stable trotters. Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We are a troop of two for now, but oh, just you wait. I just know we'll be able to get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that's, that's decided. We should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. I've already rescued your, your hornist. Your horny boy. Hmm? I was about to return to my spring in a sweet serenity, but when I heard those two mention my sisters, there are four of us across this land, you know. Huh? You'll find my sisters and their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Well, I know where one of them is. Yep, right up there. Mija's near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Katera is near the stable in West Nekluda. Mm -hmm. I've been worried about our safety. 
But after hearing this musical troupe, I feel so much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? And while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? Huh? With the power and inhale uh, level one. Mm -hmm. I need light dragon scales. And upgrade the soldier helm. Fairies do sure love being at stables. Yeah, they all moved to stables so that they could hang out there. Let's see, let's mm -hmm. enhance our depth huh? tunic. Now close your eyes. Ooh. Oh. A resourceful hero like you surely wants to unlock even greater potential. Some sets of you enhance them, so I get a special bonus. Not every set, mind you, but some. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, if you get two fairies and you have two levels of great fairy, two levels of enhancement on the set, you get an extra bonus. Oh, one sec, I need to stretch. Ah, feels good, man. So in order to enhance the champion's leathers, I need one more silent princess, which I know that they are summoned in Nekluda, at least they used to be, but two light dragon scales. I'm guessing that's the new dragon in the sky. I don't know how to get that. I'm going to upgrade the frostbite shirt, though, because it is super cute and I love it. Huh? Can they enchant under st other stuff? Nope, just armor. This is for <clears throat> leveling up your defense as you go along. Oh. E -E beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh. That's a movie quote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is also what you use a lot of your materials for. Oh. Increase my glowing parachute oh. pants for when I inevitably go back downstairs. Oh. E E A beautiful. Oh. oh. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to increase, I I improve everything I can. <laughs> Level mm -hmm. seven defense. Huh? Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Why are great fairies always horny? Huh? I've never understood this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Like in Ocarina of Time, they had those weird pointy, pointy boob things. And now they're like this. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Empower my pants, Tara. Thank you. Bye. All right, let's do some shuffling of my armor. This is my strongest defense. 
But this is my best looking outfit. Fashion. Give me apples. Can I get another apple? No. Yes. Come here. Screw it. I'm using magic to pick apples. Anyway, before we actually start heading south to Nekluda, which was, you know, half the point of this stream. We should probably go cook. Hold up. Let me cook. All right. Let's see. There we go. It's for the best. Yeah, maybe I should engage with the mechanics, huh? <laughs> Simple fish skewer. We're going for quantity over quality right now. Mostly because we don't have a lot of food materials, uh, food, <laughs> food left because of the Lionel fight. See what this gives us. What if I put a rock salt in with it too? It didn't change anything. Why not quality and quantity? Because I don't have a lot of food. Got pepper seafood. Nice. A little bit of a glowy mushroom. Back got some razor shrooms. Get an attack bonus. That's a good one. Know what? Cook all five glow shrooms. Sick. Let's have the spiciest piece of steak on the planet. Got an oil. Oil, herbs, stamble, and a mushroom. Sick. More oil. Critical. Wait, no. One. One. Decrease. Grab two of you. Drown it in oil. Yeah. 
Oh, they added new... New whistling, didn't they? They did, they added new cooking songs. That's actually very sweet, I like that. I like that touch. I think that's good for now. Kind of want to get the Misco treasure before I... Before I actually head south. I'm going for it. We're going to go find this treasure. And then we're actually going to Kakariko Village. Finally. Ooh. What the? Ten years later. Look, I know it's that type of game, but I swear. <laughs> Easy, Opal, baby. Swim across the river! I wonder if I have the resources to take on the Gleok yet. Or do you think it would still kick my ace? What is this? What is this? Hello? Drop it! Oh my god, there's more of them! Ha Ow! Give me your apples! It'll kick your ass most likely, probably. Yeah! I'll take that trade. Alright, so what is this thing? Wait, what's over here? This looks like a place that had- that would have a Korok puzzle, normally. Oh my god, it's a whiz robe. He has a s ruby stuck to a sword. Yeah, Gleok. Probably ruined my day. But I believe in my power. Oh wow, I am nowhere near this chest. Prize! And that's how you hunt. <laughs> Ooh, Aracuda. Rip burb. 
Yeah, he's gonna be ripped it ripped into with my teeth later. I have a sudden desire for chicken nuggets. First things first. Die. Second things second. Die. I said die. I said die. You know what? Fine! Dino nuggies. Oh my god. I do kind of want dino shaped nuggets. I need to get one of those penguin freezer. Like TV dinners. That's what I need. What is this? That didn't help. <laughs> you got a little something on you. Box! Get back here! I'll take that. All right, directly south of here. Woo, a little bit of lag. Vox just said no. Like the, uh, the Bugs Bunny face. No. This is how you mind. Easy. There's another guy, another whiz robe. Mmm, cave. Hello? Crenel Heroes Cave, I hear you have a very fancy little bit of gear in here. <laughs> you can't fool me. I know what you are. I know what you are. <laughs> I know. Here we go, another Talus fight. Give me a rock. Oh, I want a rock! Now I'm just thinking about Naruto. Thanks, me. You got it, me. All right, big guy. Bum, 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 bum. Get on him, Link! Grab his ass! Grab his ass! One, two. One, two. Get out. I got your number again, Talos! I, I remembered! I remembered how it works! <laughs> Ow! What a, what a hit me?
All right. Whew. One, two, one, two. Get out. Up, up. One, two. One, two. Get down. Up, up. Oh, this guy's done for. This guy's boned. Bum, 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 bum. I missed. You know what? It's fine. Ah, the Dallas. I remember how to fight you now. Also. <laughs> Hell yeah. You killed a rock. I did. Nice. I have brought death and pain and destruction upon the rock. Now we need to find the... Oh, hey, the bubble frog. Yeah! We need to find the treasure chest. How many giant bright bloom seeds? Bum, 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 bum. Well, there's more spears over here, Frug. Rest in peace, Bubble Frug. There's more spears over here, so maybe this is the way. Yep. Also, give me all that. <laughs> I saw all that shit fall. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Let's -a go. Give me the thing. Thank you. All right, this should be barbarian gear. Because it's, um, attack up. Yeah, barbarian armor. It's favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farin region. Well, apparently people believe used to be the Zonai. Or believe, used to believe were the Zonai. But apparently they're not. Which leaves us with the question, who made the barbarian armor? The world may never know. Give me this. Oh boy, an amber. <laughs> Fear me, keys. I know who. Who did it? It was me. Ah. You are the ancient barbarian tribe. Spoken of in legend. I see. Do -do 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 -do. I want to go get that shrine. You thought there was an ancient civilization living in Farron, but it was me, Dio! 
Oh wait, baby cool rock. Does he have a chest? He does. Bet you there's nothing in it. I need to reach my friend. Good luck with that, buddy. What's going on over there? That's a Gerudo lady fighting up a goblin. Well, yummy yo! Good luck to you, Gerudo lady. I've got ancient mysteries to unravel. Ugh, good stretch. Combat training throwing. Oh? Ah, oh, sick. More flame fruit. <clears throat> Try and paraphrase the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Bye, guy. Eat fire fruit, dork. Well done. Well, he's not that well done. Watch the enemy's movement carefully, then throw the material at them. Yeah, give me more of these, though. Gimme, 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 gimme. Free arrow? No, come on. Eat it! <laughs> Grenade out! You have proven your mastery. Now. Proceed to the innermost chamber. You got it, Raru. Let me up! I want the thing! Fine. Give me the thing. Come here. Eh. Close. Eh. Close. Come down here, you freaky little horn. Hey. That's a Zonite sword. Oh. Anyway. Hey, more bomb flowers. Can always use that. Uh, oh, 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 that was a random headache. Oh, I'm okay. All that struggle. <laughs> hey, it was worth it. Totally. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. And we pretend the airplanes and the night sky like shooting stars. There's a Satori tree right there. I don't care. We're heading... To Nekluda! Ah, Nekluda! Finally!
up the food hills. Oh god, Link got vaporized. He got absorbed into the matrix! What is this? Oh, that's a stall knox. I don't feel like it right now, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Give me that dank herb. Breath of the Wild challenge run. You can only heal your... You can only use healing... Uh, you can only get healing from Hyrule herbs. Oh, hello. Enjoy my rusted ha rusty halberd stick. You jellified nerd. What's this? Oh, wow. It's very pretty is what it is. I love the sky islands. Oh my god, a sky shroom! What's up, Baliulo? Oh, nothing much. Just exploring high rule. Making the world's slowest pace. How are you, Blaze Draws? Wrong answer! <laughs> this is guy. Ah, I see. Good. That's good to hear. Why are there so many choo choos in this forest? Ooh, golden apple. So many choo choos and not a train in sight. Making an SCP game. I hope that goes well. I believe you've you've said that before. Twenty six, twenty six, or twenty six, sixteen is going wild. Nice. Oop, dazzle fruit. Need these for when I go back to the depths. There is a very big frog in the underground. And Dazzle Fruit is the easiest way to deal with it. What is that? It's a sign. Ignore that. But I hope your game progress is going well, Plays Draws. Frog. Frogs. I fought one a long time ago. And it was a lot of fun. But once I figured out that you can cheese it with Dazzle Fruit, it kind of became <laughs> a pushover. Oh my god, look at those guys, they're racing. A random number and I will make that an SCP in my game. 1993. Oh, hey, there's another fairy over there. But I do not believe. Known as your leg, indeed. A personal favorite of mine. I don't think I have the right instrument for her, so not going to even bother. I'm building a base over there. What the? Get out of there! Eh.
Go back. What am I supposed to do here? Come here, rock. Drop it into the depths. Apparently the rock is not enough. Damn it, Dwayne. Frog. I need a bigger rock. Big rock. Made the label for 1993. Nice. All right, into the depths with you all. Eh. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! yeah -ha -ha! There we go. I just had to break my throat open a little bit. Now, there is... Ooh, tomatoes. There is the... the shrine. Oh, wait, they got their hornets back. Nice. It's just... is just not the same. Should play Roblox? I probably will not. Hello, hello, I know you, Traveler. We've had a delightful development. Look! I mean, listen, it's Eustace. In this hall, we're back in our troop. It's heartbreaking to think of the poor old fellow getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rito Village. Not to self, Eustace doesn't get to drive the car anymore. But I'm glad he's out of his funk and fit as a fiddle. Eustace's horn would blow the stable trotters back on gorse. Link be dripping. Yeah, Link out that drip. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. One who no doubt shares my concern for the great fairy. What about her? Ah, oh, I must be mistaken. I merely assumed because the great fairy could tell her isn't such a noble... Yeah, I merely assumed because the great fairy Cotera is such a notable attraction to the dueling sta peak stable. Sometimes my reading gets ahead of my mouth, and it confuses my brain. Alas, the local great fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bed in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at the woodland stable. She used to listen to Beats' drum so fondly. Beats nuts! Hearing his lively beat again will be just the thing to cheer her up, but he simply isn't here. Oh? He's the young drummer who plays for the stable trotters. But one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. Oh, there was a traveler who heard a drum somewhere. Where was that again? The Binakakariko village to the north? Where the road bends around Benoru stand? So he's to the north. What the? So he's starting to make more SCP videos. Yeah, I've been recording and well, editing some. So the pen SCP. Yeah, I've got another one scheduled for tomorrow. Um, I don't know if there'll be any next weekend. 
But I'm still working on them. Having the gaming content going again is... Uh, made me much more willing to work on him. Can you include my custom SCP as a community thing? Yeah. If you go to Discord, you can uh, post it in there in the Dead Channel LOL channel. I want that. Oh, I have been spotted! Get down from there! Ah! Yeah. Ohio Airbender. Is that what that's called? <laughs> Also, hello, Diego. Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Everything is on fire. I'm gonna beat this guy to death with a lame club. I'm on the lawn and fight! This is how he gets paid. Yeah! Hot! Link does have to make that cash. Yeah! Get burned. I guess, uh, plays draws if you... Whoop, there goes my loot. Captain Construct 2 Horan. If you post a link to it in the recent video, in the SCP for today, and be like, hey, this is the SCP. If you post a link there, I can, I can try and get that done. It'll probably be a few weeks. Um, because I... I recently changed my mind about how I want to run the channel. Again. So... Things are changing again. A cannon? The zone of device that fires shots in intervals. A cannon. By God. Down in Ohio, swag like Ohio. I'm the CEO of Ohio. No need to flex the microphone all up in your face. Showing you the Ohio tour and leaving your ass perplexed. Taking a walk in Ohio is a damn mess. I'm the CEO. Woo! It's quite the song. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, hello there, little Gorok. Yeah. You bonk, dork. <laughs> eh. This is a chest. Give me that. Bah. A phrenic bow. Hmm. Okay. Bye bye. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Yeah. Nice. There's the shrine. All right. Before I. Before I continue the actual traveling to Kakariko. I need to get the shrine for this stable. I didn't know it was all the way up there. Ooh. 
really putting that out of the way, huh? There's another part of the song, I see. Ascend! Oh boy! All right, we got this. We got this. I wonder if there is anywhere close enough on land, on the surface, to a sky island, where you could actually ascend up into one. You can't escape Ohio. Yeah, we got hella people. Can't even sleep up in an Ohio. That shit be illegal when you drink a drink in Ohio. We drink you instead. My cousin is Fortnite Battle Pass. Damn. That verse hits. It's the anthem of, of my life. Whoa. I made it. <laughs> wow, the tower is at the top of Mount Lanayru. Awesome. All right, give me this shrine. Eshos shrine. Shoss. What puzzles do you hold for me, Shrine? I will kick your ass. Solve all of your puzzles. You are a combat training shrine. Sick. Shields. Monka is. Here's a ruby sword. Like the projectile, if you parry. Oh, you can actually reflect projectiles. I actually never knew that. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. All right. Yeah. Ah Wait. Hold on. Okay. All right, that wasn't fair. I pressed the wrong... Why isn't it... There. Jesus Christ. I need to eat. <laughs> Don't look at me. I almost died in the training shrine. Ha! Oh, come on. I did it! Well done. Yeah, I am. Oh boy! Be mindful of the element. God, that hurt. They wouldn't kill me in a training shrine, would they? Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Nine zero nine nine is to be kept in a room at site fifty, guarded by two guards at all times. Set in ninety ninety nine is a pack of ice cream, and seven and gets a target the favorite flavor of ice cream. Yeah, that is, that is the exact same as the pizza. Mmm, Dolph has broadsword.
Very nice. What? Hey, yo. This thing looks sick. Yo, this thing is sick. God, the zone eye are so cool. Mm, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Island made of ore deposit that lights up the sky like a star at night. I mean, there's one right over there. Saw it as I was climbing over. There was one that was made of, um, luminous stone. Yep, right there. Very cool. Anyway. Come on, Link. You can do it. There you go. Back to traveling to Kakariko. Ba -da -da -ba. Kakariko. Surely everything there is normal. Nothing has changed. I'm gonna just boop. pin in that. <clears throat> Something following me. Oh, hello. Get sticked. Put a pin in that so after I do Kakariko, I can just run over and grab the Skyview Tower. Silent Princess. Nope, Blue Nightshade. Oh my god, I found Amaranth. Nice. The link to 9099. Did you post it in the in the video? Who are you? <laughs> Lord. Oh Lord. Yes. Alrighty, I will take a look. Good evening. Looks like somebody's in good spirits. Are you traveling to see the sights? <laughs> I don't blame you. The ring ruins are really something. Tried posting it here too, but they deleted the message. I don't know why. It might be getting auto modded. I thought I had it to hold links instead of delete. But I'll take a look at that after stream. They've really put Kakariko Village on the map. Didn't get nearly as many visitors before the upheaval. Eh? I'm sure the influx of tourists poses a challenge, but the new chef, Paya, seems to be taking things in stride. Paya is the new chef. Deleted my comment too, yeah. I need to check to see what my... my filter settings are set to. Because I had it set to hold links instead of straight up delete. Oh, whoops. Instead of straight up delete them. But I've been. But people have been saying that stuff like that's been getting deleted. So I need to look into that. Is 
Is it on Sandbox or Amino? <gasps> I hear a drummer. Oh, little drummer boy. It's Sandbox. I might be able to find it on my own then. But I'll check the filter first. Look at this guy go. Now oh, Sandbox one or two. Oh, well, maybe I wouldn't be able to find it then. I tell you about the Finding Paradise documentary. You did not. I know that they slightly related. I know that they have a alternate universe creator now. It's like a free thing that allows you to make like to the moon finding paradise like comics. Ba dum ba dum be dum ba dum ba dum be doom. Yeah. Come on. Ba dum ba dum ba doom. Buzz buzz dum buzz 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 dum. What you doing? Oh. Hey, hey, don't interrupt. Just call him bees with my beat. Huh? Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in a musical troupe I play in has been a little down. If you gotta make him honey crepes, should cheer our master right up. Mm. But I can't get my hands on any horse of bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? So I'm trying to lure some bees with my bait. All I need is three cones of honey. I ate them all. Someone said there's some beehives around Kakarika Village to the north near that huge hole that opened up. But that hole's pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he needs three buzz. The documentary is unlisted, sadly. Dang. Go to Sandbox 3. You have to type 9099. It's in front of Sandbox 3. Hmm. I do have a link. Interesting. Although I think it'll probably delete it if you tried to post it. <laughs> this fit in here. What the? <sighs> ba -da -da -ba. <laughs> now that's architecture. I didn't think that would fit in there. Let go, Addison. Now that's architecture. Found this random meme. Interesting. My back itches. Let me. I gotta scratch it real quick. Ah! Ugh! The pain! Ah, uh, that's better. What the hell? Oh my god, no way! That's quite the meme. Hmm, <laughs> give me your rice balls. Whoa. Thanks, Addison. I might be a little tired. It's fine. Oh my god, so many tomatoes. You make some reaction videos to YouTube videos. Uh, the closest I've gotten to... I've watched a couple E3s. 
I reacted to my own videos once a long time ago. That's the closest I've gotten to doing reaction videos. Although I guess, in a way, all Let's Plays are reaction videos. So. The hell is wrong with that frog? A sticky frog. Come here, frog! Yeah! No, the golden beetle! I wanted it! Welcome to Jurassic Park, aka Kakariko Village. At last! Ah. We're on hands with the ring ruins at last! I can't believe it! Uh. Um, Letty? This chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring ruins. Nothing much, really. Mm. I mean, compared to the main sites, like the ring ruin over there, it's broken in two, but you can still see the full ring. Mm. Well, we can't visit that one by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. Have to use the bathroom, AFK. Okay. Ah. So this isn't getting. Isn't this getting? Isn't getting close to this chunk here? Something at least. Is that was a good sentence? I I I did it well. We can sweep up some of the fragments and sneak up away. Got to study these ruins somehow, huh? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just uh, definitely leaving everything as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Uh, Phew, thought we were going to get yelled at again. Oh. We really want to become members of the Zonai survey team, so we came here to study the ruins. Do you know that the ring ruins have been found only in Kakariko Village and nowhere else? That's why the Zonai survey team sent out its specialists to examine them. I figured this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. But Letty's been running all over the place to look at this and that, so now we've gotten nowhere fast. Aww. Come on, I'm sorry already. But after we're done, want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins? Huge discoveries, they say. Oh. Naturally, so many of the five ring ruins we can visit to see those. Back, welcome back, please, draws. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Welcome to the laggy down. I love the Kakariko Village Town theme. What the hell? Five thousand rupees? Hey, Clary. Huh? Oh, uh, welcome. Sorry, I must have drifted off. I'm just so tired lately. Uh, look, I know it won't help to talk about it, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop while looking after my little sister. Lasley is looking after her. We're sort of getting by. We're both so exhausted. What's your favorite Dorito flavor? Mine is blue. Mine is also blue. Cool Ranch is really good. I'm sorry about this, but we really need the money for grandmother's treatment. Had to hike up the prices on everything that we have in stock. It's just for now, though. As soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can set her prices back to normal. Uh. No, I shouldn't bring my home situation to the shop with me. I skid it off my chest, but I probably shouldn't have dumped that all out on a customer. Okay, it's time to salvage my professionalism. Ah. I'm so sorry about that. Allow me to welcome you to the Enchanted. Do you know there's green Doritos? I do. There's also purple and red. I prefer the blue one, though. Ah. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go southeast to Hateno Village. Well, I go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here. Serve both style and quantity. lasley has been getting some rest. Bye bye. Ooh. 
Give me that. Also, it's time to pray. Pray for salvation from the goddess Hylia. You conquered shrines. Give me... How many hearts do I have? Nine? You know, let's get stamina vessels. Two stamina vessels. Coming right up. Oh, yeah. I'd say, all right, nah, who needs health? Besides, we have a lot of shrines, you know, in the in the nearby area. I want to get a full second wheel. There we go. Lovely. I like how that looks. Frog. They're all so high up. Ooh. Hey there, kid. Did you come to see the ring ruins too? Might bump into each other when you're running around the village seeing the sights. You want to learn about the ring ruins? First you have to ask his own eye survey team people here. Or the village chief. You find her and a few team members under one of the ring ruins. One floating to the north side of the village. Okay. Checking out the shops around here. See me again. Say hello. Thanks, buddy. This is the inn. This is the food. The general store. Give me your arrows. Ah. Oh. You go out. We I keep those stocked for you. Oh. Keep more stocked. Sick. Aracuda wings and eyeballs. Nice. Ah. Menacing. That guy's terrifying. Oh, there's Lady Paya. Good grief. Oh, hey, Dorian. Weren't you the Yiga? It's Lady Pius' duty to take care of the village. But whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I... Hmm? Oh. Ooh. Is that really you? L Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. Didn't expect to see you up here in our village. And right now, too, while our chief is. The chief? Uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. No Lady Pai is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but... Lady Pai is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. My dad forgot my food. Oof. Sorry to hear that. Speaking of food, I'm kind of a little bit hungry. Might end the stream here in a little bit to go get some some food and do some things. I want to go for at least like another half an hour. Even now, she's under the ring ruins with the Zone Eye Survey team. That ruin over there. Oh. I wonder. Maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Would you do me a favor and stop by to see Lady Paya? Okay, Dorian. This guy still has something to say. A simple tourist. Ring ruins. Heh. <laughs> They're only the most amazing sight to see in Hyrule. Of all the rings that ruins have fell everywhere, these ring-shaped wonders are only in this village. Five of them. Found a stone slab with Zonai writing in four of the ruins. Those ancient messages are the main reason I came to this village. Aww. Problem is, I have an extreme fear of heights. My legs start shaking if I'm even on the second floor of a house. And every ring ruin fell somewhere high up. One of the ruins is floating above part of the village, so at least I can see it from below. The other four, though? Forget about it. Can't even get close. 
Wish I could find out what's on the stone slabs in each of those ruins. A trip through history. Intradasting. Hiya! Yeah. Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched. Especially this one. The way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh... I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh, no, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. <gasps> oh, is that you, Master Link? <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Hiya, Chief of Kakariko Village. Howdy. Hmm? Nice hat. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. About that. Uh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing. That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. Ah. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us all to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us. No matter what. I saw her myself. The princess right before my eyes. It's the fake princess! Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pai and I suspect at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link. Especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Uh. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. Completely forgot common courtesy. Every time I see the name Pi, I think of that turnip turns up video. Turnip for what? Please allow me to introduce to Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Uh. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell in our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He is truly an incredibly talented individual. What's up? Nice beard. Oh. It's clear that the floating... Eh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is an unique and incredibly valuable find. Link just spasmed. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Look, turn up turns up on YouTube. Turn up for what? Ah, uh, turn up. That's a meme I haven't thought of since fucking 2014. Oh my god. <laughs> uh -huh. Thanks for s punching me in the brain and throwing it back a good nine years. Jesus. <laughs> I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Oh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Hi, is profile. The chief of the Chica tribe. She takes her duties she inherited from her grandmother Impa seriously, and she draws strength in her own way from being a gentle soul at heart. 
She has considerable affection for Link, in part because of her grandmother's many tales about the hero who defeated the Calamity. Doro, an explorer whose passion for field research is unrivaled. He lives to make big discoveries and has spent a long time traveling solo, investigating ruins. He is also an expert in reading Zonai writing. Princess found Zelda found him to be the perfect choice for leading the Zonai survey team. By God. This man's abs have fucking abs. Holy shit. Of course it's raining. What are you doing? In the Princess Zelda's orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. Fucking chill, dude. Princess Zelda visited Kakariko Village recently. Her orders were clear. Of all the ring ruins, this site is off limits. She left it for giving any sort of reason why. Maybe she wanted to keep the villagers safe. Ruins aren't known for being structurally sound, after all. But what if I do? How about I do anyway? <laughs> ah, it's raining. Ah, it's raining. It makes it hard to climb. I need to find my shrine. There it is. Ah, of course. All the way over there. In the middle of a rainstorm. When I can't climb up a cliff. I have to go all the way around! <laughs> Sorry, I just, I love Kakariko music so much. Oh yeah, we need the bees! The bees! No! No! Not the bees! No! Oh. Actually. I'll take a picture of it. Nice. Sick. My now, yoink. Tulin, defend me! <laughs> Tulin, fight my battles! Ah, they're still coming! Back fiend! Ah! Oof. I narrowly made it out of that situation with my life. <laughs> Truly, the bees are the most terrifying beasts in this realm. Are the bees like chickens? Kinda. What the? Oh lord, they're coming! Yeah! Wait, no, I need this. Yeah, they're kind of like, like chickens in that they are extremely rude and will ruin your life. Just like chickens. Get it! Run! They come! I'm eating ice cream right now. Nice. Ice cream sounds good. They only had baby ice cream. Ah. I'm sorry, you have the little baby ice cream. Well, I was trying to go around to get in the shrine, but I guess I will spend my time investigating here. I don't have time for rain. The stone slab at the southern ruins. Some translation notes. To protect of Hyrule from the demon king together, king, they were known as sages. What I take from this is about, it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it'd go something like, 
There were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the Demon King. I mean, yeah, basically. Alright, it has to be inspired. It can't not be inspired. Every time I look at Zonai... At Zonai text. This is what I see. Give me one second. Can babies even have ice cream? Probably. I see this stuff. Like, you get where I'm coming from? Zonai script has to be inspired by seal script. Anyway. Maybe there isn't anything here after all. This is where I found the Sundelion, so there must be seeds or something. Bah, I bet the tourists visiting the stone slab are going to trample everything soon. Come on, come on. You need a Sundelion? Yeah! Where did you come from? I suppose I should have been paying more attention, but come now. Sneaking up on people isn't very nice. Uh, sorry. Are you interested in the Sundelion? Mm. Sundelion is a new species of plant. The first one was found on ruins that fell from the sky. I believe that means they grow on the Sky Islands. I'm still in the middle of my investigation. But early results indicate that they have some sort of relationship with the gloom. Mm. I can prove that. I think they might help those suffering from gloom exposure or aid our research in the, of the depths. In any case, it's rare to find them on the surface, so I'm using the village's plum garden to see if I can cultivate them. <sighs> I found one near this stone slab, so I'm looking for any seeds that might have fallen. Do you, I, I have some. Do you want some? Stone slab. Look here. See? That's a stone slab. Oh, damn. That is... That do be a slab that is made of stone. <sighs> the text on the slab is from the Zonai civilization, so it's beyond me. But our leader has studied the Zonai language pretty thoroughly, and has an idea of what it all means. Mm. According to him, the stone slab in these ruins is a record of Hyrule during those ancient days. It says that some people called sages kept the kingdom safe from some kind of demon king. Uh. I think just some random user left the stream. It'd be like that. People come and go. It is what it is. I can't remember exactly what the slab says. Why bother when the translated text is right there next to it? Besides, my hands are full with my Sundelion research. I don't have time to get in the weeds with sages and demon kings and whatnot. Uh. Ah, sorry, just singing out loud. Now, please excuse me. I have to hurry back to my Sundelion research. What weed is over here? Nothing. I'm here. <gasps> Hello. What the? Green. Had to look at something, yeah. <gasps> Is it you? Is it you? After all this time? I have so many Chuck E. Cheese tokens for you. Give me. My gotcha pump! A stabilizer. 
A perfectly balanced Zonai device that stands upright when activated. We use to secure footholds in unstable places such as Sky Islands. <gasps> oh my god, a big wheel. A powered Zonai device that wants to move. I mean, it's a big, mean wheel that excels at tearing through environments that might challenge other devices. Such power in my hands! Like a pong! <laughs> By God! Oh my god, they keep coming! <laughs> nice. Maybe you dudes being drunk again. Yeah, maybe. Can I read your diary? Southern Ring Research Journal by Corey. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell on the plateau south of the village also held a stone slab with Zonai inscriptions. You broke the game almost. It got laggy there for a minute. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we had never seen. References in ancient texts revealed that it was a sundelion, a plant long thought extinct. We're currently borrowing a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. Or flowerful as it is. <laughs> our note, our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects, meanwhile, has come to a standstill. I can teach you all about the gacha. Gacha pong! <laughs> you gotta roll. Jesse, we have to roll. I want the iron shrooms. Give me those little turtle shells. Turtle shroom. Am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? Makasura. All right, what's the puzzle here? Where are the turtles? They're in my pocket in mushroom form. I will be consuming them. An upright device. I assume we will be learning how to use the stabilizer. Aha! Literally gatekeeping people that don't know how send works. <laughs> eh. Weebles wobble. but they don't fall down. What am I supposed to get over there? Come here. Boop. Wait a minute. Eight, 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 purple, uh, purple thing. Screw your intended solution. I'm going traveling. Come here. I love these dorky little items. <laughs> We've discovered the catapult item. One eight one, a lucky guy. Looks like a guy who may or may not be lucky. Yeet! I want to do that too. 
Oh, no, the other way! Yeah. Wait. Fire me, daddy. Maybe. What? No way, I solved it. Woohoo! Anyway. A fairy tonic. Hmm. Fairy juice. I wonder what happens if you milk a fairy. You think that's what fairy tonic is? Fairy milk? I don't think we should dwell on this. I think it might be a bad idea to dwell on the concept of fairy milk. First video made six years ago, yeah! It's a gaming video, yeah! Good old shadows, Shadow of Mordor. First thing I put on the channel, but not the first thing I ever streamed. The things I've, sat, I've streamed to begin with are sadly all gone. I'm going to do some level 10 science here. Actually, this might be level 25 science. Oh my god. We're gonna go to the dead mines with the, with the amount of science I'm about to perform. Here we go. Science. Sci 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 science! <laughs> oh god, it flo- I think it broke I flung so hard. <laughs> this is where the SCP began. 111J, yep. The house. First SCP video ever on your channel, yep. Back when I still had a higher pitched voice because I hadn't run it into the ground. By tearing my throat up doing SCPs and streaming a whole lot. And now my voice is deeper. Also, it's been six years. <laughs> that probably has more to do with why the quality of my voice has changed than anything else. I wanna go see what this is. Then I guess we can do the Skyview Tower. Let's go, Tulin. Thank you. Why, hello there. What y'all doing? Offense is best. Fortify your defense. Huh? You just don't know when to stop going on and on with that best defense is good offense nonsense. 369, uh, 367, just a little dog because it's named a little dog. That's the one with the, like, the dog with, like, the extra paws and stuff. Yeah, it's a good boy. Now here we are. The sun's gone down. We haven't gotten any closer to get rid of those monsters. And we won't as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. You stubborn old codger. Uh. Yeah, look who's talking. Good <sighs> grief. Those two really don't get along. You know what I mean? Those two. I mean those two squabblers over there. Ah, squabblers over there. I want to investigate the ring ruin nestled in these hills, but some monsters have set up camp there. 
I heard these two were competing to be the town's top fighter, so I asked them to clear out the monsters. But this is all they do. There's a stone slab in the nestled ring ruin inscribed with Zonai writing. What if the monsters destroy that priceless artifact? What did I ask those two for help? What would happen if you put 367 with 999? I bet it would be adorable. Cuddle party! Pug party! Pug party! God, now I now I'm just thinking of Pug Party. Muddle bud, go! Let them fight. Nice try, Dingus. <laughs> Burn! If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Hold up, let him cook. Yay, I almost set myself on fire. If we put SCP-652 on your channel, maybe. I have almost a thousand, I have almost 900 specifically. I have like 800... 50, 72, something like that. SCPs on my channel. There is no way I could remember them all. You can discover if I have read an SCP by typing in Aliulo and then the title of the SCP. Yeah, I've read so many at this point. That sometimes I'll see a video I made and I'll be like... I, I have no memory of this thing. Never talked about 652. What is 652? Let me go look it up. Oh, it's another dog! Aw, it's a puppy. I read that at some point. Should I make a video of it? Yeah, maybe at some point. <sighs> I have a lot of things I've already recorded that I got to get through first. <clears throat> Stone slab at the nestled ring ruined some translation notes. Those who most elite among the granted qualifications are chosen as stages. Say sages, doggo. Yeah, he's a basset hound. I'm just a poor little doggy. Apparently he's neutered, so he's even more such a poor little doggy. Type dog. Those worthy secret stones and henceforth sages. Clearly the sages are the subject of this slab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. Yeah, you basically got that right. We've already learned uh, about all of that because of Tulin. Well, I've one is a virus that sometime you should talk about, maybe. You defeated it. You defeated all the monsters. Just who are you? There was some kind of fighting you did there, Oaken. Sure was. From perhaps a perhaps with defense and a strong hand with offense. If I had it all wrong with all these years, it's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. Ah. Oh, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt. Or worse. Ah. Well, the important thing is that we've realized the truth before it was too late. We need a balance between the two. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Oaken knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. Doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us. We're glad to help if we can. Mm. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I'd suggest that we head back to our village. Ah. Right. I bet my trusted store is running low on goods right about now. People there must be in deep need. Just be a tank and a... Tank and a DPS. Work together. 
Now that you've chased off the monsters, I can go back to investigating the stone slab and the ring ruin. Thank you. Stone slab. This is one of the five ring-shaped ruins that fell in the area. They're all broken open except for the floating one within the village itself. When that happened, chambers with stone slabs were exposed. These slabs provide rare examples of Zonai writing. Someone placed them very carefully. They must have been important objects. Can't believe I get to study them. Taro has translated a bit of it already. This particular stone slab seems to detail the requirements for becoming a sage. Apparently, not only did you need to be exceptional in some way, you also needed a secret stone. Huh. Never heard of these secret stones before reading this. Still so much mystery in the world. If you want that exact text, you can read the translation next to the stone slab. Uh... Must have been important. It's a shame we don't yet know what they meant by sage and secret stone. Well, if you knew, if everyone knew what it was, it wouldn't be very secret, now would it? Also, I already know what a secret slab, what a secret stone, and a sage are. <laughs> God, I'm cool. Man, look at all these shrines. I have to fight my urge to immediately run to them. That a bloopy. Bloopy. Bloop. Why are there two? What's with all the long bloopies? Hey, yo, what's this? Buy fruit! Yeah, baby! I need them fire arrows. Hello! Is me, Link, here at the Sahara Slope. Octopus. Sort of. Oh, hey, there's a sli there's a thing right there, too. We'll look at that in a moment. Anyway, hello, Bilson. Eh, is that you? You're on about late tonight. Oh. My apologies. It looks like we have a small problem over here. Hey, well, what up? Oh. Heard that the terminal at the Skyview Tower needed repairs, so I came to fix it. But... Mm. The door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. Of course, I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. Yeah, uh, I worked up an appetite getting my brain into gear for this, but the nearby caves would have some tasty shrooms. Caves. Yep, there are caves at the bottom of the hill. Used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time while we were building the tower. Hmm. It doesn't seem locked. Use all your tools! Okay. To the caves we go! Splash fruit. Fruit that contains pressurized water. What if he's just very weak? I mean, he does have hollow bones. He is a bird. Fruit that contains pressurized water. Cooking it brings out swim speed when ingested. Do, 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 Water balloon! <laughs> ah, I see. Come here, little keys. Get the pocky in the eye! Porrito, they have little tiny bird arms and little tiny bird bones. Ha! That was a waste of durability. Coming through! Meow. Meow. Aha! 
I'm gonna drink the fairy milk. Anyway. Yeah! I hear the monkeys. No, my rock boomerang! Now, uh, will I ever get through this? No. Oh. Probably not the best idea, but it did get the job done, technically. If it works, it ain't stupid. That's what I'll tell myself. Yeah! Yeah! What the? Put that down. Mm, monkey. Why? You have shown me. Monkey. Mm. Monkey. I'll be honest, that video still makes me laugh. I am very simple. And I have a very baby brain. I like dumb memes. Ooh, a Sheikah shield. A shieldka. Uh, but... Yeah. Huh. Die. Come here, lizard. Oh, man. Yeah. Acquire new hammer. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm coming in. I ho. Hi ho. I kind of wish that the caves would get dark enough to require um, glow, like, glow in here. How strong is Link? Way too strong. What the? I mean, he is the champion of Hyrule, after all. That salt. Hmm. I know there's a frog in here. This is a cave. There's always a frog. Hey, buddies. Hey, honey. You want some of this? Actually... <laughs> He's out with the shield. Hello, pets! Hello, pets! Hello! I know you see me! Beds! Beds, come here! Cowards! <laughs> come back here! Uh, whatever. 
Made a cursed version of the Whopper song. Whopper, Whopper, I ate my job. Now I see. They didn't say one word because it was too bad for the channel. Hmm. Dick. Bats lived. They'll survive. Ah, they'll survive this day. They won't survive the next day. Hey, you're where the bubble frog at? Bro, where's my frog? Ah. I know you're in here. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> frog! There he is. No, stop running. No, stop. Got him. Give me that gem. I need it for Kilton or Colton next time we see him. <laughs> now, hmm. I am basically right. Why is everything shaking? What is happening? Hopefully I'm not about to <laughs> ascend into a Hinox asshole. Dive right in. Hey, is everything okay out there? Set up some dumb locks. There you go. What? The door opened. Could it be? Did you fix it for me? Uh, I can't believe a couple of sticks caused all this hassle. Wonder if those were in there to begin with or just fell over somehow. Or if some monster did that on purpose. <laughs> Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well... The mechanisms aren't working quite right. Just give them a bit of oil. Uh. Ta-da! It wasn't a big problem, so a little oil cleared it right up. Right, I'm gonna hurry on ahead, so this is goodbye. See ya, Bilson. Earthquake! It stopped happening. Ah! I think I know what happened. This guy got a little close. Nah, I see. It's one way to break in, yeah. Just swim right through your floor. I'm, I live in your floor. Get our glider on. I have to take a shit, so AFK. Ah. I see. Thanks for telling the class. Wah I was about to say, what's that island? But that's the Great Island. Wah, wah. Da, 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 da. God, I love this music. Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Sick. You know the thought occurs. Things being under things are is very important in this. So I wonder.
Did I talk to him? There's a bargainer. Underneath the Temple of Time. There's a bargainer underneath this Temple of Time. Yes, I did talk to this one. So we can get rid of that stamp. Interesting. What if there's a bargainer located under each temple? Like, what if there's a bargainer here? I'm going to put a stamp there for us to check out. I don't want to go there yet. Wrong button! I want to go over here, there's a shrine. In the sky! Look at all those trees. I can totally do this. You know, I really do wonder where the Sword of Time, where the Master Sword is, Sword of Time. Hey, hey, it's the Moron Shrine. Hell yeah. Finally, a place where I belong. But I have no idea where the Master Sword could be. This map is huge. A bouncy device. I'll bounce your device, how about that? Boing? Let me boing! Let me boing! Do I have to hit it? Hit it, Fergie! Woohoo! <laughs> I see. I understand what you want me to do. Y'all ready? Wah! Boy. Prepare the cannon. Prepare the cannon! Fire! 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 Almost perfectly. Sick. Oh boy! Okay, get in the hole! Get in the hole! Are you too good for your home? The hole is your home! There you go. The time has come to do level 24 science. My level, my science level is increasing. Watch this. Can I reset you? There we go. You do not. Uh oh. You are not prepared for the level of science I am about to perform here. You do not comprehend in your brain what I'm about to do. We fly.
Almost. So much science. That was some pretty good science there. Hmm. It wasn't quite enough, though. I'm back. Welcome back. That isn't enough science. I need more. <laughs> Flip over. Get over there. Pathetic. Weak. All right, so. I think this may not have worked exactly as planned. What if I just do all three facing the same way? Oh, little off center. I don't want to die while I'm doing this, so make sure it's all centered. See you all up. Right there. This looks stable. What the? Alright, so having them face the same way is the actual ploy. The actual ploy. The actual play. You don't want the one facing down. I thought it would throw. My intent was for the bottom one to throw me up further. Like to throw the base up further. But it didn't work. Science failed! Link isn't a springologist. He has no knowledge of these things. What the? I wonder if there's a... I wonder if this counts as a f root. But I want in there. You know what? I'm getting in there. Oh. Ah. <laughs> well, that was not what I wanted. I was hoping that maybe there'd be a little thing underneath and you're supposed to ascend through. That was not the answer. You see, what it actually wanted was, uh... Uh... This. Yeah! <laughs> God, I'm smart. I'm so smart. What the? Like I really put the court before the heart before. Trust me when it was going when I say that it was supposed to be really clever. God damn it! I wish my mouth worked. I think that went swimmingly. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Don't be mean. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find weapons that haven't decayed around the depths. Indeed. And it's very cool. I want to check out the big ring that's stuck over here in the cliff. Let's go! Oh lord, that's a big ass ring. Da -da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. Hey. 
Now I want to play Halo. One of these days, I swear, I'll play more Halo. What is that? What is that? What the? What the? Ah! It's like a giant wall. I'm guessing I'm supposed to get in there from over here. I'm my own ladder. Oh my, wake up. I love you, hearty truffle. Stone slabs at the large ring ruin translation notes. The demon king, vast power, no hope, victory, king's own life, managed to imprison him. Imprison not indefinitely, prepare demon revival. We sages must leave our knowledge future generations. Reading between the lines, the stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning... I'd guess it's something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. Sages tried to leave something for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the demon king's revival. Uh... Yep, that sounds about right. Uh -huh. Wake up! Oh, please wake up! Saguru's not far off and he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs! A priceless artifact! I'll be the one who gets it. Why are you sleeping there? <laughs> ah, stone bed. What is this dwarf fortress? Ah, uh, yes, stone slabs are well slabs, like the one this guy's sleeping on. Survey team discovered stone slabs in the ring of ruin in the ring each of the ring ruin sites here. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ring ruin sites here. They found this one in the ruin above us. Huh. Our leader is able to read the Zonai writing. It says that the text on this slab is a record of a historic fight. One that was between a great, great king of that era and the Demon King. The ruler did not, or could not, defeat the Demon King, and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought aside their ruler left something behind in case the Demon King returned. Aww. It worries me to know that this discovery talks about a Demon King's return. And here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, sorry. Didn't mean to think and fret at the same time there, there. You can read the deciphered writing for yourself. It's all right next to the slab. <sighs> Gotta do something about this guy, though. Sagur's in the ruins above, and he'll come back here eventually. I realized my stream was behind. Are you sure that the... The text, the screen text wasn't just lagging? By full minute. Oh, he was actually behind. Jeez. That's something that YouTube does over time. But normally that doesn't stop being start being a problem until around eight hours. Oof. Large Ring Ruin Research Journal. Saguru. There are five ruins around the village, but what I call the Large Ring Ruin is clearly the most impressive in scale. Though parts of it have collapsed, the, it is the only ruin to retain its circular shape. As with the other ruins, a stone slab inscribed with Zonai script was found in the rubble. We have stored the slab in a tent at the nearby camp. Yeah, right here. I was watching my phone and I turned it off. Ah, oof. Full minute. Oh, hearty truffle. You're the only fungus for me. What if I... Do I have one? What if I drop a, a hearty truffle? Wake up! Oh. A gentle aroma with a strong hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now! Oh. Wake up, nerd. Uh-huh. Was, was that just a dream and... Where am I? Oh. oh, that's right, I was changing the beds! Anyway, th thank you for waking me up. Need to hurry back to the inn. Oh, that truffle is gonna be so mad at me! There you go. Thanks for helping me wave that guy up. Can't believe he fell asleep on one of the priceless stone slabs. That can't have been comfortable. 
Anyway, I'm glad he woke up before Saguru found him. Mm. Hang on, if I stepped on a stone slab, would I dream about the glory days of the Zonai? Saguru never comes down, so maybe I'll give it a try. Don't, you'll wake up with the worst fucking back cramp. Trust me. Not worth. <laughs> Yeah. Break the box. Ascend. A ascend. Thank you. Ascend. Woo. Oh, wah. Eh, my ear. <laughs> Sorry, I think my hair got in my ear and it was tickling and it felt weird. But where could they? Hmm? Did Pura send you? I'm Saguru. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, just look at all these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Uh huh? Wait, you're not with the survey team? This is an official Ring Ruins research site. It's dangerous here for civilians. <laughs> But if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer your questions. Uh, as long as they're not about the Sky Islands. What about them Sky Islands? Oh. You know when you start dreaming and stare off into the sky? And then you go, whoa, floating ruin. That's a Sky Island. Ah. Remnants of the Zovi Zonai civilization. Like these ring ruins have fallen all over. Turns out they come from the Sky Islands. Which means the whole Zonai legacy is up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well preserved. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Sky Islands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. Anything live up there? Uh... Not sure what lives up there, but we found new species of plants around the fallen ruins. If there are plants, I'm sure other things live up there too. Live up there too. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Try talking to Cory. She's our resident plant expert. Right now, she's trying to cultivate plants that were attached to the ruins. That interests you. You should definitely ask her about it. I'm not boring you, am I? Well, let's see. The plants that are up there. Stambulb. Sundalion. Sky Shroom. Uh... Da, da, da. Apple? Well, there's the golden plants. The golden grass and trees. And then as far as animals go, I know that there's the chocobo and a, and a fish. And probably other things. What makes you curious? I want to know more about armor made with Zonai tech. Clothing and culture are tied together. There's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the sky island, the bigger the settlements. Doing some sort of cultural relic must be up there. Since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to content myself studying the ring ruins. Oh. Going out of the way to get the Sky Islands? At least not yet. Love to go someday. The folks in Terrytown can improve the balloon. Wish I had a reason to head northeast. But maybe there's a quest in Terrytown in order to get people up there? Maybe. I've never done Terry down in Breath of the Wild, so I'd like to visit it to see what's up. What's going on in these here ruins? I'm gonna change my armor real quick. Back to the champion's gear. Oh, whoa, what's this? A whole lot of nothing, it seems. Link, please. Stand up! Stand up! I've got a zombie army, and you can't harm me. Who do you voodoo, bitch? That's another game I want to play again. Dead, Dead Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Die. I 
I think this might literally just be a ring. If you like, then you should put a ring on it. I see the Sky Islands sure liked this mountain then, because they did put quite the ring on it. Large zonite. Sick. Anything else? Nope, nothing else here to see. Yup. Let's see, I've been there. Been over there, been here. <clears throat> what other rings are left? There's the floating one. But we're not allowed in it. There's that one. Maybe that's the other one? Well, we're not allowed to go in DV, the floating one, so... I guess we investigate this guy. Hello! What's going on here? Ew. Oh boy. Monster camp right there. What do you have to say? Stone slabs at the Eastern Ring Ruin. Translation notes. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time. Light, who holds the power, secret stone, and... Person dwell within power, amplify, great might, display. First of the message on this slab is something about something called secret stones. Those who hold powers such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light and time, amplified them with secret stones. He uses the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. What I'm guessing it would say if I could read the whole thing. Well, we've already met wind. I'm guessing it's... Wind is the Rito. Fire is Goron. Water... Yeah, water, Zora. Lightning, Gerudo. Light, Zonai. Time, Hylian. That'd be my guess. Howdy. Zalus. Evening. You come all the way out here to see the ring ruins? I'll be. Watch your steps so you don't fall into that chasm or get personal with any gloom. <laughs> you just can't help yourself gloom-wise. Look for a resident gloom specialist, Eva, by the tents. Anyhow, the chief here is determined to keep the ruins open for viewing. Just steer clear of the stone slabs and the ring ruins. Can't replace those. Ah. Should know five. Count five ruins fell around here. Called the ring ruins. Covered stone slabs inside four of them inscribed with Zonai writing. Each slab tells a different story. The one in this ruin is about... Let's see. Hmm. Wind, fire, water, lightning, time, and... Uh. Light! That was it. It says the people with powers like those could amplify them with secret stones to perform great deeds. Oh. If you want more than a synopsis, I, you could take a look at the translated text posted near the slab. The writing is so ancient that I couldn't begin to tell you how to read it. Doro is pretty well versed in Zonai stuff. Go ahead and write it down for me. Mm. What a shame we can't enter that floating ring. But there's a slab in there packed with juicy information. Floating ring. I want in. Or hey! You there! Come here! Oh my god. I've been spotted! Oh. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near the ring ruin by Princess Zelda's orders. So you better be on your way. Her orders? Oh. You heard me. Princess Zelda came out to Kakariko Village the other day and told everyone to steer clear of that ring ruin. Mm. She left in a hurry so it didn't catch, quite catch the wife at all. As you've surely noticed, these ruins could come crumbling down at any time. So folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her concerns were coming from. Yeah, sure. 
He was definitely Princess Zelda. Definitely not some other horrible fiend. Posing is her. Because it definitely seems to be hinting at the fact that that is not Zelda. With the shit that she's been pulling around Hyrule. I wonder. Oh, hey, a dragon. Hey, dragon. That's gotta be the light dragon. I need to go shoot that guy, get his scales. How the hell do you see me? No! What if I don't want to? Did you in my dream to you to call me Dr. Caleb? I'm going in. Come here, I'm right here. <laughs> Come here! Fine, fine. Asshole. Hey, Paya. Master Link, is there anything you need from me? I haven't discerned anything about Princess Zelda's whereabouts, so I'm not sure if I can be of any help to you. However, my plan is to investigate the Ring Ruins as thoroughly as possible. Dorian, my aide, does not seem too happy about it, but I believe this falls under my duty as chief, and so it must be done. Ah. That's all I have for you at the moment. Please stay as long as you please. Doro. Yeah. The whole story about Princess Zelda had me reeling, so I've never introduced myself properly. Sorry about that. Once again, my name is Toro. I'm here on Paya's request to investigate the ruins that fell around this village. Huh. Princess Zelda ordered everyone to stay away... Out of the floating ruins. It's hard thing to ask of us, but she's the princess. Nothing to do in the meantime but keep investigating the other ruins. Aww. Have you been to them yet? There's four other ring ruins around the village. Most of them broke apart on impact. Inside each site, we found an intriguing stone slab. Uh. If you ask me, these slabs will be the key to unlocking the mysteries of the Zonai civilization. How the hell am I supposed to get in there? Oh, Wartsworth, you! Ah, uh, Link, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away? You know it! Oh. I thought so. Glad to see you showing an interest in my work. I remember you. You're the guy that was translating Zonai on, at the at the fort. This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell out of the sky at Lookout Landon. Managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had in the storage at this research lab. Is what it says. Once held the honor as hawk maid to King Rauru and Queen Sonia, they arrived her to his sister and to Princess Zelda. Her on the East Grit stand on twelfth more with all of make in the indictment with the royal family. So make her remember Brown's preserving for the sake of him on whom. Our hope raised. Mm. Not much to go on, but you can certainly read the names of King Raru and Queen Sonia, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Ah. Certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any of their texts we've unearthed so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all, dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. Oh. What's written here must be the start of a first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Nerd. Nerd! Get a real hobby! Stop... Reading languages! Did you notice the number 13 there? 
That means there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. If a royal chamberlain really left these. Oh. It's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era, one which the history books don't mention. There's so much we can learn here of King Raru, Queen Sonia, or even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. 12 stone tablets left. Fascinating. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. Make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. All right, so he wants me to take picture of the tablets that are in the floating stars. Awesome. Man, I wish I was good enough at languages to be able to translate. I'm far too stupid to be a translator. Come on, you can get up there. There you go. What's up? Oh, you know, just some floating islands. How are you, Jimmy? Welcome to Hyrule. Things are pretty cool out here. Like dragons. I wish I could be a dragon. Good and you? Pretty good. Getting a little bit hungry. Might end the stream here soon. Go get some food. Hungry too. Yeah, it's pretty late. Hmm. The gloom hole. Well, anyway, I am going to go finish the little drummer quest. 7 p.m. here. It's it's uh, eh. same here. 7:14. Why can't I have two or uh, two in town? They're not here. This is an impressive carrot. Might be reprimanded if you take it. Damn it. Fine. Take a sneaky whoa. River snail. This large glow in the dark snail lives in fresh water. It allows me to be sneaky. What the? Secret apple. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Thank you for the dollar super chat, D Jimmy, too. It is much appreciated. You ain't gotta do that. What's with people today suddenly giving me money? <laughs> this won't work either. It anyways, and I'll do it again. Is that a threat? Aww. Thank you, though, Jimmy. What to do? This rate grandmother's health isn't going to. And Clary's so busy running the clothing shop. Just have to do it myself. I'll find a cure for my grandmother. What up? Mm -hmm. You traveler? Guess it doesn't really matter who you are, as so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff, and now she's sick and bedridden. Or just about the only thing she can keep down right now, too. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness. But none of them have had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that'll make my grandmother better. And I need to do it soon. Gloom? I don't really know anything about it myself. Other than what it does to you when you touch it. My grandmother was cleaning up East Hill for the survey team when she first noticed the chasm. Early on a road trip. Hey, yo, road trip? I hope that's been go. I hope that's going well for you. Sounds like a good time. I'm making an Ohio game. Ah, I hope that's have. I hope that's going well for you. Plays draws. Welcome back. We know now that the chasm's a source of gloom. But she had no idea. When she tried to take a look, she got exposed. But there's got to be an ingredient that counteracts gloom sickness somewhere out there, right? Forage. It's my grandmother's favorite, made of Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. Might not normally think to mix those ingredients, but it's surprisingly good. Bought a bunch of Hylian rice and milk from the merchants who travel the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for those. But I still haven't found that crucial ingredient that fights off gloom sickness. Keep experimenting until I come up with a porridge.
rice, milk, and I'm assuming a Hyrule herb. And then I can mix it with a Sundalion and give you your thing. Give you your super porridge. Also, I'm jumping in this well. Whale, whale, whale. What do we have here? Oh my god, it's an actual thing. Give me that. Basically, all the food in my inventory at this point is bright caps. What is going on here? Hello? What is this? I am sleepy. Take a nap. Not really. Oh, do not take a nap then. These ruins just keep going. Oh, hey, Tulin. Who's carrying these apples around? Ooh, hello. I will read the first page of the tattered notebook. My beloved husband always gives it his all when working in service of others. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and good spirits. So I made him a tough meat stuffed pumpkin using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. They thought he kept saying it was tasty and going back for more. Hope it filled his heart as well as his stomach. Next, my little Kotla, my perfect girl. I love her so very much. She truly is the apple of my eye. Speaking of apples, she seems to have quite the taste for hot buttered apple. She's oh, like an adorable little squirrel, always stuffing her cheeks full of them. If I could, I'd cook endless amounts of apples and goat butter to keep my little one happy. Koku is my precious treasure. As a sibling, she's an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since Kotla was born, Koka doesn't ever whine or complain anymore. She's so strong and so wonderful. Luckily, Mommy knows that Coco loves energized honey apples. It's a difficult, ta ta difficult to collect honey, but as long as I carry fire with me, the bees won't attack. I'll go through any lengths to see my Coco's smiling face. You had a few bee stings here or there, well worth it. Thanks for the ingredients. I'm staring your, stealing your swift carrot. It's been cultivated extensively in villages. Give me those. I stole your food. Away I go! Link is a food thief. Eventually I'll get out of this cave. Oh. I needed this. Oh, he's stealing. Oh, he's stealing. Oh, hey. Look who it is. Hey, Nadra. What up? We need to find merchants that travel the road to the west. Although I suppose we could check the food store first. We need milk, rice, and we have herbs out the ass. The merchants are gone. No! He doesn't have anything. Hi. Hello, welcome. Sorry, the old fellows who stocked this place are busy driving off monsters. Got off to the ring ruins. It's among the hills that lead west to the village. As you can see, we're run out of goods. Those two, they just don't get along. It's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. Can't go up and check on them, and the longer they're away, the more worried I get. I fixed the problem. Uh -huh. What? You defeated the monsters? And those two have made up? Hmm. I can't believe it. But if that's true, then this is quite the occasion. Those two have been bickering for ages. Offense is best, defense is best. Pff, round and round until my head hurts. Uh -huh. Please, take this along with my thanks for doing the impossible. Hey, free carrot. Ah. It's called an Endura carrot. Cook it to gain stamina. It's a precious natural remedy. 
It's been prized since old times, and it's become remarkably rare of late. Please, take it with you on your journey. Yeah. Thank you, truly. After the old fellas get back, I'm sure they'll that they'll get this place stocked again, so please come back. Easy. Link is a kleptomaniac. If it ain't bolted down, Link will grab it and probably throw it to try and break it open and steal your rupees. I will cherish the carrot that, that's, that has been granted to me. And I definitely won't immediately cook it next time I go I go cooking. Did I grab this frog? No. But I'm grabbing this frog, though. Mmm, tomatoes. Tomatoes are new. I'm fairly sure. SCP-2627, another SCP video you made. Did I? I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> frog! No, frog! Oh my god. He's gone. You know what I haven't done in a hot minute? Saved. <laughs> Should probably do that, huh? Gorf. Ah, yes. The Gorf. Let's get some rice. Gorf equals frog. True. Stay out of my way, or I'm getting rice. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Where's the rice? Normally you'd have rice by now. Has rice gone in extinct? SCP-19199, all you little object class YouTube gaming live streams. SCP, SCP-19199 is to be kept in YouTube. SCP-19199 is the YouTuber Ali Ely makes lots of good videos and live streams and SCP videos. Aw. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. No race for me. Lawn Mowing Simulator 2023. Yeah! The crossover we all wanted. I could have sworn this is that you could get rice just by doing this. Maybe you just can't get it here. Hmm. Oh, hey. Oh my god, Tulin! Nice. All right, let's go back over here. Bro got annihilated, just completely exploded. Wiped off the face of this foul realm. Let's go back to town and go out the other the other way. So we can go get the drummer, the little drummer dude. Take him back to the stable. And get fairy number two. Oh, hey, look at them together working on the carrots. Good for them. Wait, is this your house? <laughs> Hello? Oh, this has got to be the sick grandma. You said you had a ton of rice and milk and all of that. 
if I just give you it? Vandalism. Eh, they don't need it. Okay, you want this? No. I think I actually have to cook the porridge. Why am I cutting more plants? I already know that there's no rice here. Cooking simulator, yeah! You ever seen that video? That old, um... Brian David Gilbert video on... Was it po Polygon? Uh, Unraveled, I believe, is what it was called, where they cooked ev like m every Breath of the Wild dish. I don't think so. That video was fantastic. <laughs> Highly recommended. Cooking every every bit every dish from Breath of the Wild. Frog! I can't believe I killed the frog. Aw, oh, jeez, look at this sign. I dare you. I'm sorry. I don't even use the frogs for anything. I just collect them. I'm a freak. Hey, are you a merchant? Is that a drum? You hear that? It's coming around from around here somewhere. Is that a drum? I hear it. I am hearing that then. Maybe it's the one I'm destined to walk through life with calling to me in that way but it can't be it just can't be oh. i wonder where it's coming from i've been scouting here for the source but i haven't found it yet he's over here you know miss gerudo you're not very attentive i want rice Yeah, whatever. B B B doom. E. Ba dum ba dum ba dum. Yeah. Ba dum ba dum. Come on. My kitten in a box. <gasps> Adorable. Wait a second. Is that the I smell? Something sweet? Hey, maybe in your pouch there. Here, have some honey. Mm. All right. My beat didn't reach the bees, but I guess I got you moving. With these, I can whip a hump a honey crate for the conductor of my troop for the trouble. On the double. And make it double. Here's a little something for helping me out. Take it, it's all yours. Hey, 100 rupees. Sick. Oh. What'd you say? The stable charters are back in action. Then what am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but I've hit up every single stable. I'll run into them sooner or later. Shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services again. Hey. Well, until next time, if there's a next time. See ya. Well, I mean, they were just, like, at the bottom of the hill a few days ago. They might still be there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, and that means I can probably get the fairy now. Sick. Over here. I wonder if it's at the top of the twins now that there's no shrines up there. I guess we'll find out, eventually. Maybe, if I decide to do it. Because what I've decided to do right now is in the stream. Because I am starting to get really hungry, like it's starting to bother me. So, uh, thank you all for hanging out. This was a great time. We did a lot of progress. Not in the story, but we got a lot of stuff done. Hopefully, we can come back to this tomorrow. And maybe even start a little earlier, who knows. For now, though, thank you all for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. I'll see y'all later.